greetings and welcome back to another edition of the End of Time Watchman. And the title of the program today is Jesus Saves. Jesus Saves. I know there are many of you out there who feel lost. You feel hopeless, like all hope has been lost. Uh, things are just not going your way. But I'm here to tell you today quickly, just a short and quick message to let you know, yes, that there is hope because Jesus saves. Jesus is the Son of God and He came to earth over 2,000 years ago for this very purpose, to save us, to save us from all that is bad, to save us from all that is evil because He is a savior. He was born for that very purpose, to save the world from sin. Now Jesus wants to save you today. He wants to save you from spending eternity in the wrong place because all of us will cross over into eternity one day or the other. And we will end up in one of two places, either heaven where Jesus wants you to be a place where you will live uh, eternity in bliss. You will have all that you need. You will have nothing uh, that you will ever want and cannot get. Heaven is a place that every human being should aspire to be. That's one place. The other is hell. A hell it's a, it, it's, a, it's a place that was actually created for the devil, for evil to dwell for all eternity. But all who live a life of evil, all who live a life of being obedient to the devil will have to spend eternity there. Anyone that cross over into eternity without the salvation of Jesus Christ will spend that eternity in hell. And that is not something I want for any human being. In fact, God himself said it in his word that he does not desire for any human being to go to hell, but he wants each and every one of us to get to heaven where we can fellowship with him and, and live a life of peace and happiness for all eternity. But we can receive that today because Jesus saves. Uh, through his salvation, we can get to heaven. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 4 verse 12 that there is salvation in no one else. God has given no other name on the heaven by which we must be saved. And that name, my friends, is Jesus. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Acts chapter 2 verse 21 says, Anyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Anyone. Anyone. Notice, no one is exempted from this. Anyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So all you need to do, wherever you are, is to call on the name of Jesus. Believe in him. Believe that he came and he died for your sins and you can receive his salvation today. Jesus came, he came and he came to save us from our sins. He came to save us from all of our troubles. He came to save us from all temptations. He came as a savior. He came as your savior. He came as our savior. Let us not turn away from him today. He is standing before us. He's standing before you, beckoning unto you to receive his salvation today. Why? Because time is running out. He is coming back very, very soon to take us to that heavenly place. And we need to be ready when he comes. We cannot try to get ready after he comes or even during the time when he is here. We must do it before and the time is now. We do not know when he's coming. We do not know the day or the hour, but we know for certain that he is coming back very, very soon. There are signs that he has given us to look out for. And I can tell you that those signs, we have seen them, they're right in front of us right now. We, you know, the things that are happening around the world, 
everything points to this time, points to the fact that Jesus Christ is coming back very, very soon. Be ready, be ready, be ready. God is the only source of sure help, very sure help and relief from any and everything that troubles us, from all evil. We can turn to him. We can put our trust in him today and receive his salvation and uh, uh, secure our place in heaven. Why? All because Jesus saves. He came, he shed his blood and paid the price for us. He paid the price for you. The price that we ourselves could not pay for ourselves. The price for our redemption back into the grace of God. Turn back to Jesus today. We can uh, find comfort in these two powerful words. Jesus saves. When no one else can help you, when no one else wants to help you, you can know for certain that Jesus saves, that you can turn to him and find salvation in him. And note very well, this is something we cannot do on our own. Because as the scripture says in Romans chapter 3 verse 10, no one is righteous, not even one. And why the scripture is saying this? Because to get into heaven, you have to be righteous in the sight of God. And to get to that point, none of nobody, no human being in their own strength and intellect can get to that stage. Because it says in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, uh, for everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. Because of sin, because of sin, we were born in sin. And because of that sin, we all fall short of the standard. But because of Jesus, because Jesus saves, we can attain that standard. There's no need for us to suffer the penalty for our own sins because Jesus himself, he has already suffered for us. He took it on himself to bear all the sufferings and the pains for our sins, for your sins. So we don't need to do it. We don't need to even worry about it, but we can receive as a free gift today, salvation from Jesus Christ. We can enter into eternal life with God through Jesus Christ. Only Him. He is the only way that we can get to heaven. All we need to do is to follow this simple formula in the book of Romans chapter 10 verses 9 to 10. It says, if you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You will be saved. Not maybe your might, but you will be saved. For it is by believing, verse 10 says, in your heart that you are made right with God. And it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. In other words, just simply voice it, believe it, and you will receive it. And again, just as it says in the book of Acts chapter 2, it says again in the book of Romans chapter 10, verse 13, that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So we can trust Jesus because he is the light that shines the way to the path that we need to take if we want to get to heaven. He himself said in the book of John chapter 12 verse 46, he says, I have come as a light to shine in this dark world so that all who put their trust in me will no longer remain in the dark. Put your trust in Jesus Christ today and follow him. He is the light. He is the light of salvation and he will point you in the right direction that you need to go today. So don't worry about what is happening around you. Don't, don't worry anymore about what is happening in your life because Jesus saves. If you put your trust in him today, he will save you from all of your troubles. He will save you from all and everything that will hinder you, that will hinder you from getting to where you need to be today. Turn to Jesus Christ, accept him as your Lord and Savior and secure your place in the kingdom of God.
On that note, I'll come to the end of the program today and I pray and hope that you will make that very all-important decision today for Jesus Christ because we do not know what is going to happen tomorrow. You yourself can go to sleep tonight and don't wake up. We don't know what will happen tomorrow. Tomorrow is not promised to any man. So make that decision now before it is too late. Time is not on our side. So surrender your life to Jesus Christ today again before it is too late. I'll see you next time. If there is a next time, God richly bless you and goodbye. Don't forget that to contact me for any reason, you can find me on Facebook by searching for Curtis Minister Roach. Minister Curtis Roach. Or our page, The End Time Watchman. Just leave me a message and I'll reply at my earliest. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel and be blessed by the hundreds of videos available to you. Please feel free to share any video to help us spread the good news of Jesus Christ. You can also follow me on Twitter at Roach underscore Curtis. Should the Lord continue to tarry, See you next time. God bless. Hey, hey. Sound the trumpet now. Hear the Father say. Don't get left behind. Don't get left behind. The rapture is coming. Don't get left behind. Don't get left behind.